Okay gang, it's Camp Cowboy here with a video about how to get the best stats dollar for dollar. So, everyone just wants to know, you know, I want to have the best stats, I want to be strong, I want to be, you know, this is my castle level, how can I do this dollar for dollar, you know, and not have to spend the most amount of money? Well, the good news is, everything is getting cheaper. The second, you know, the second amount of news is, stats don't matter, well, stats matter, but it does not matter what your castle level is. So with that being said, it's nice because no matter what castle level you are, you can have the same stats as someone who's much stronger than you. So let's go ahead and talk about how to get these better stats. So the first things we want to look at when we talk about stats is going to be our equipment. So if we're talking, you know, saving the most amount of money, and still getting a good amount of stats and I'm going to be looking at Demon Hunter. So Demon Hunter is going to be very cheap now due to the most recent updates and with uh, you know Sun King coming out or Ice Lord whatever it's called I don't know. Um, so with that being said how do I upgrade this? What order do I upgrade this in order to save the most amount of money while getting the most amount of benefit? Well in the eventually you want to go full plus five. Depending on what your budget is, go to plus five and wait there. Retribution is only about 40% increase, but it's going to be a lot more expensive to go ahead and craft. So that's why I'm leaving this off of that list. Um, our top tier equipment, I want to make sure that I can find the name of it. Chime in, Darth, if you know it. Or don't. Okay, Darth, thank you for your assistance tonight. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Alright, well, our best gear is going to be called Sun King. Thank you, Darth. Making me waste about 20 seconds of my life right there. Um, so, Sun King is about $5,000 to go ahead and craft. Now, you can get a stat bonus at a lower Sun King resonance level. However, that's not what we're really looking at here in this video. So, for this video, we're going to be looking at Demon Hunter plus 5. Now, with that being said your first step and your first goal is to go ahead and get that demon hunter crossbow before anything else get that to plus five go ahead craft everything craft all six pieces doesn't really matter what order you get it in um you know go for the bigger pieces first like we're going to be going for our uh crossbow first then maybe our cap and then all right now we're going to be lacking on our defense let's go towards our coat our boots and then we could go pen uh, our charm ring any order that we want now when we come back to our crossbow we want to go ahead and get this to plus one then get everything else in plus one same kind of order that you did with crafting doesn't really matter but get that crossbow done first that's your first priority then after that's done bring crossbow up to plus five immediately before you touch anything else crossbow is going to plus five now this will give us the best benefit for our attack stats which are always generally going to be lower and then once you get that to cr uh, plus five start working towards everything else plus three and then bring them up to plus five from there now thankfully it's very cheap it'll be a very quick process for all of you to do now next order of business is going to be our gemstones our gemstones are going to be nobility gemstones now where I think that our money is best served is probably going to be at the plus five base level for nobility. It's going to cost some money getting us there, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at plus five, it's a very basic just, this is 58%. This is what we buy it at. That's what you get. You pur purchase the gemstones, you get them at plus five. Now, depend coming to where where do we finish this off at, comes into question with where are our justice gemstones at. So if we have level 6 justices then we definitely want to go ahead and bring these up to level 6 maybe even higher into the orange nobility gemstones. You should relatively be able to take care of getting your nobility up to plus 6 pretty easily with just using your justice stones. Now <clears throat> It will cost you a little bit on t the top end, so I'll go ahead and show you a couple different ways of getting a lot of good gemstones easy to go ahead and enhance. Whether this being a pack that you're purchasing, 
or grinding it out with Lucky Shot. Lucky Shot, very simple. Pick any board on the gemstones and just start buying things to go get some res um, enhancement bonuses. So that will take care of our gemstones. We want to get them up to that level 6 nobility gem in that purple, as we see here. Now, if you have a lot of dough to spend, you can go ahead and bring them up to that level 6 in the orange. However, I didn't do that because obviously I stopped spending money before things started getting cheaper. I could easily take it up there now, but I'm not really worried about that right now. Now, let's go ahead and talk about where we're going to be taking our airship. So, airship, we want to be in the 60s. Um, maybe even low, low 50, um, mid to high 50s. Um, so we'll have mid to high 50s if we're going to be a lower castle level. But once we get up to the higher castle levels, about 29, ready to go to 30 and beyond, we want at least level 61. Level 61 comes with an additional 2.5% attack, defense, and health of all troops with your airship. With our abilities, these are what our abilities are going to be. We have March of Fury. We have troop versus our infantry versus cavalry, cavalry damage reduction and infantry defense. Battlefield treatment. Then this is going to be distance attack against our infantry with a distance attack. Then we're going to have our infantry versus distance damage reduction with infantry health. Then we're going to have cavalry uh, versus infantry damage increase, then cavalry versus distance damage increase, and then finally our distance versus infantry, um, cavalry uh, damage increase. So these are the abilities we're going to want to be utilizing, and that's the same on attack and defense. Now if you don't do KVK, you might be able to go ahead and get rid of the, our survivor seeker. However, I like to keep this in for the 40% troop health. It's going to be the a better stack compared to utilizing perhaps a cavalry versus artillery damage which really doesn't do much for you in general. Um, now with our airship parts we're gonna want to take these into at least the purple area. I'm gonna recommend that if we're spending money which is the whole point of this dollar for dollar we're gonna want to go for orange and we're gonna want to go for that plus four plus five area. Granted it was a lot more expensive when I did this. I'm not quite there yet, but it'll be uh, cheaper to go take an orange to plus four, plus five, compared to taking a gold. Now, we can also explore the idea and uh, of utilizing the platinum cannon. However, this is dollar for dollar. We're not talking top tier. We already know if we're going top tier and we're spending a lot of money, we're going for that platinum. But that platinum's a lot more expensive for 80% compared to what I have um, let's take a look at a level 4. This is 25, it's only about 10% increase. So, yeah, it's a lot better. However, it's not the end of the world. And that's what we're talking about here, is we're not trying to be number 1, we're trying to survive. Um, I'm going to skip curiosities in this video for the most part. Um, basically what you want to do with curiosities is take them to the purple level and get them to a higher increase. I don't really know a whole lot about curiosities. Um, now, with our coat of arms, there's a lot of coat of arms. I'm going to highly recommend that you take them to purple, level 2, level 3. That's where you want your coat of arms. Now, moving forward, let's go ahead and just go into our guards really quickly. This is nice and easy. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have Durangatan here. We're going to want about that 4 star, maybe even 5 star level. I'm going to recommend that you take them to the 5 stars and not the 6 star level because we will be able to get these additional dashing duelists um, benefits out of that. Now moving down to our weapons master, I'm going to highly recommend that you go with the Duke of Buckingham or Dominique at that 5 star level. Either or doesn't really matter. It's a completely free guard. Don't worry about spending money on this guard. That's a grinding guard. Then we're going to have Kitty. I hate her 3 star and I hate her 4 star. Put her on the back burner. We don't worry about Kitty until we already have all of our other dashing duelists to five stars. Once she's from, at, once everyone else is at five stars, we can go ahead and increase her to five stars. So, it costs two hundred fifty dollars for three hundred twenty fragments. So let's go ahead and do the math. Three twenty divided by two fifty. That's a dollar and twenty eight cents per fragment. We need eighty one sixty plus three twenty 
times 1.28, it's going to cost $716 for me if I had zero of these fragments to take her up to five stars. That's a bit of a chunk of change. However, you get a lot of benefits in the end with it. So I'm putting her on the back burner. Now with Blanchett, we're only going to have to do 160 and 320, 480 times 1.28. It's about $600 for Blanchett to go up to five stars. In the process, we're gaining an extra 50% cavalry attack and 30% troop defense, as well as all of these other benefits that come along with it. So this will be a good way to go. Now with Kitty, keep in mind there is a level three increase in her dashing duelists. So it might be worth it to go ahead and, you know, coin up to get that three star early on to bring her up to that Blanchet and uh, Durangatang level in order to get those extra benefits. Now we have Captain Travel here at three stars. Um, he's definitely one that I would rather bring up to five stars before I bring up um, any of those dashing duelists because five stars will give us an extra 50% cavalry defense and then distance defense, which really doesn't matter, but cavalry defense is nice and we're getting good stats along the way in the form of troop stats. Benoit, same deal. He's also with Captain Trevel on this. Um, and we will be getting troop attack 15% and distance attack plus 50%. I would take Benoit up before taking Captain Trevel up, but I would take both up nonetheless. And that should conclude our regards, and that should also conclude our video for best dollar for dollar. Granted, keep in mind, everyone is different. Everyone has their own different budgets. So, as always, I do sell account guides don't uh you know don't hesitate to reach out to me if you want to get an account guide i do offer a deal if you buy a uh account a membership to my channel on youtube you will not only will you get all the other perks out of it including um like special emojis you can use and like a nice little title next to your name access to exclusive live streams uh by me but you will also get a free account guide with your purchase so I normally sell them for $10, but you can get them for uh, $5 with an account membership. Or if you just want to buy the account membership and you don't want, uh, if you want to buy an account review and guide uh, and you don't want the channel membership, I do sell them in $10, $25, or $50 variants. I also have a $100 variant, but I doubt any of you will want to buy that. But it is out there if you're interested. Thank you all for watching. This is Captain Cowboy signing off. Take care.